Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can model a Phillips screwdriver by using the Boolean modifier. And I know the Boolean modifier is not the best way for modeling, but in this case it's e really easy to use and the result looks really great. So I, I think it's, it's a good way for modeling a Phillips screwdriver. I use a new add-on in this tutorial. You can see it on the left side. Here you can see all keys and clicks I will do during this, this tutorial, but I will also explain it to you. Okay, now let's start. We have our default cube. That's okay. And on this cube I use my favorite modifier, the subdivision surface modifier. And we set uh, subdivisions to 4. And go to the edit mode by pressing tab and selecting the face selection. We select the upper face and extrude it two times by pressing E. One, two, okay, fine. Then we select the lower face, pressing G, set, and move it a little bit up. Okay, fine. Now we set some loop cuts. No, sorry, first we scale the lower face to the mid by pressing S. And now we set some loop cuts by pressing Control R and scale it down. So some loop cuts here. Four sharp edges and some loop cuts here. Okay, fine. Now we can go back to the object mode by pressing tab and set the shading to smooth. Fine. So now we can apply our modifier because now we start with the Boolean operations by adding a um, cylinder mesh by pressing Shift A, mesh, cylinder, but with only six verticals. This cylinder we will move on the y-axis by pressing G and Y and scale it a little bit on the z-axis and by pressing S and Z and on the x-axis by pressing S, X. Okay, fine. Now we are rotating our mesh a little bit and move it on the y-axis by pressing G and Y. Rotating it to X a little bit. Okay. It's a little bit fine tuning because we need this mesh uh, near our, our screwdriver head. And it has to move out of the, of the screwdriver mesh here. Okay, fine. So now we set our 3D cursor to the center uh, because we will rotating this mesh later on the center point. We will do this on the left side by set origin to 3D cursor. Now he moved to the, to the center. Now we selecting our screwdriver mesh at boolean. Select the cylinder object. Select differences and select curve. This option is new in 2.78. In previous versions you can't select curve or B mesh. And we press apply. Fine. Now we select our cylinder mesh, pressing R for rotation, pressing Z because we want to rotate around the Z axis, holding down the control key and using the mouse to rotate it by 90 degrees. You can see it in the left, the left corner, the rotation angel, 90 degrees. Okay, fine. Now the same like before, select Boolean modifier, select cylinder mesh, select curve, differences apply, 
and search time. Boolean cylinder differences. Carve apply and alas time. So Boolean cylinder curve differences apply. Okay, now we don't need the cylinder mesh anymore. We can select and delete it. Okay, now we see we have some, some errors in our, our mesh. We can solve these errors by using the edge split modifier, by using add modifier, edge split, and set the split angle to 10. So you can see all errors are solved. So that's our, our basic uh, uh, cross from, from our screwdriver. Now we want to, to adjust the length a little bit. We go into the auto, auto mode by pressing 5 and in the front view by pressing 1. Then we go into edit mode, deselect all uh, selections by pressing A and go into wire mode by pressing Z. Zoom a little bit and select um, the upper edges. So now we move the upper part a little bit up, pressing G and adjusting on the Z axis and scale the whole mode a little bit down and So now we are finished with the first part and now we can start with modeling the grip. So for the grip I go to the second layer, the layer panel, uh, press this layer and I will create a really basic uh, grip mesh because the focus was on the, on the cross of the screwdriver. So for my grip I create a cube, scale it on the Z axis by pressing S and Z. Um, disable the auto by pressing 5 because uh, auto is not so good for modeling, in my opinion. So add my favorite modifier. <coughs> Sorry. Set the subdivisions to 4 and do some loop cuts. Scale, Ctrl R, Scale, So I think that's okay for a grip. Now we can um, connect the, the first layer by pressing shift and select the first layer. So now we're pressing, uh, we're selecting the grip, pressing G, pressing Z, selecting the metal part, pressing G, pressing Z. Ah, okay, we, we have to select the, the grip again, pressing smooth. So, and by pressing shift and selecting um, both parts, you, you connect them and then press S for scale. Move them a little bit. And you have a, a nice, simple Phillips screwdriver. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, small tutorial. I would be really happy if you give me a like for this. Bye bye.